welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on the video and if you're new here a huge welcome to you and I hope you enjoy so in this video I wanted to create a loft apartment with a dark moody aesthetic I wanted all dark colors mixed with some wood tones and I did this floor in two parts only because I didn't do the room separately while I was recording and cutting it up would have made it very confusing so that being said there will be a part two in a few days now the lower floor will have all the living spaces the living room kitchen and eating area and also a small laundry slash pantry closet the upstairs will only have an open bedroom area a bathroom and a small office or workstation area we will have the lower level design in parts one and two but I'll have to do part three for the upstairs so the videos aren't too long. Now I'm starting off by choosing the colors and materials. I wanted concrete floors on the main level. I put it upstairs as well, but I will be changing that. All the trim throughout the plan will be black and the walls will all be darker shades of gray. I chose a lighter gray for the majority of the walls and a slightly darker one as an accent wall. The overall space is very open with the kitchen all the way at the back of the plan and the living room at the front but we'll be starting in the kitchen. It's just an L shape with the fridge and pantry unit on the short wall and the stove and sink along the back wall. All the cabinets will be flat panel with no hardware. I really liked that look. They will also be black. The microwave will be above the stove and there will be a window above the sink with four wooden shelves on either sides. Next, I will be adding the backsplash. I decided to match it with the countertops and I also decided to bring it all along the back wall. Kind of extra but it looks nice. The countertops are this earthy marble look in this brownie beige color and it looks really good against the wooden shelves and the black cabinets. I thought a good way to get some extra counter space was to add this baker's table. But the room is not that wide, so it poses a problem for the eating area that I wanted in here. This tulip table and dining chairs are next. I love this table and the chairs, but I couldn't really decide on the color they should be. I ended up going with a dark blue on the table and black on the chairs. Still wasn't really sold on it. Now this long wall on the left was supposed to be all built-ins. However, I decided to separate the units for the dining room and the living room area with plants. Because built-ins going all along the entire wall look a bit too much. So 
I made two smaller units, one for the TV and another for the dining area, kind of a buffet. That turned out a lot nicer than what I had planned before. The dining area has lower cabinets and open shelving above it and I will be adding some other items on this area later on. Now on to the living area. We will start with the rug. I went with this grey one before placing my seating. I used one sectional and an armchair and later on added a coffee table to the middle. I will also be changing out the rug that I chose first because I found a better one later on. I'm placing the TV into the opening that I created and going off to add color to everything. I changed the wood that I'm using to a much darker one and I used it on all the desired spaces throughout the room. So that's all I will be doing today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and until next time, bye!